Dan and Hazel, good morning to you. Yeah, Mayor Eric Adams met with some top leaders of the NYPD over the weekend right here at Police Plaza, trying to find some ways to crack down on crime. It's all about finding those solutions to a problem that has really been growing across the city and ahead of the summer months. Typically, that's when we see a surge in violence. So these leaders want to get ahead of any potential surge before things really get out of hand. A citywide crackdown on crime continues following another bloody weekend. Police say on Saturday night, 45-year-old Zuan Yan was driving by on his scooter during a delivery near 108th Street and 67th Drive. According to police, that's when a suspect fired shots in the area, hitting Yan in the chest. The suspect then fled the scene before police arrived. Yan, a beloved neighbor and delivery man, was pronounced dead at the hospital. He was one of the nicest, kindest person ever in the neighborhood. He was like an icon for the neighbor. Police are also investigating a fatal shooting Sunday on the Upper West Side. It happened in broad daylight at 101st Street and Amsterdam Avenue. You can see police surrounding the white car where it appears they're trying to remove the victim's body from the vehicle. To help stem the shootings, the NYPD is deploying more patrols at night when much of the gun violence occurs. The summer violence prevention plan begins tonight. Police say all of the 350 coordinating neighborhood officers will be moved onto evening shifts. Police confirm an inspector will be designated in each borough to coordinate resources where crimes are happening. Mayor Eric Adams also met with law enforcement leaders Saturday. It's part of an ongoing series of meetings. City officials say the mayor is calling on police to come up with ideas on how to combat crime as they search for ways to reverse this violence. Well, the first order of business is to do is to see are we properly deploying what we have. And then once we do that correctly, uh, we can then make the decision, do we need more? Now, the mayor has not announced any specific solutions coming out of those meetings, but that certainly can change as, again, this is an ongoing series effort, so there will be more meetings along the way. As for those two incidents over the weekend, the suspects are still on the loose. If you have any information, call police. We're live in Lower Manhattan. I'm Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News.